Born with millennials managed order, the powerful adolescent stride and swagger, the twin mouth diplomats pod pipe would now thousands die from the bomb of a sniper. The dead has no voice to judge the living or ask how his dying shall have meaning while his country's symbols of strength fly overhead and the angels of death hide in their hallowed stead. You say they closely watched the security cameras as the attack was happening. The hostage takers are spotted on the phone. Authorities believe they are receiving instructions from outside the mall. Here, one of them even appears to look for surveillance cameras. Only four attackers are seen in the video. There are long periods of time where they appear almost relaxed. At one point, the attackers take turns for prayers. Elsewhere, in a mall restaurant, a Western man, gun in hand, and what appears to be a plainclothed Kenyan police officer take position to try to protect the staff and customers cowering behind a counter. And this was just the first day of what would become a four-day nightmare for Kenya. The cry of war has won the cities of human desire. Never mind what lessons history books inspire. That war solves no problem, only breeds more war. Yet high is the drumby award. One minute. That was my war. I know millions who care and need it. But wonder if the leaders know this truth. Beyond their banal slogans of convenience, get it with the glare and air of intemperance. I believe we can keep the promise of our founding. The idea that if you're willing to work hard, it doesn't matter who you are or where you come from, or what you look like, or where you love. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white, or Hispanic, or Asian, or Native American, or young, or old, or rich, or poor, able, disabled, gay, or straight. You can make it here in America if you're willing to try. Can America keep her passionate promise to defend freedom wherever it is amiss? Now utterly stung by the venomous pang of hatred, will her actions prove as ardent as its if message? You are on the quick trip line. You are unlawfully assembled. And you will be subject to arrest. Please leave the quick trip lines. And get real. We are what the children are in the baby. This drama is truly affecting them, affecting them for the rest of their lives. Amidst the storm that surrounds that assured day of September 11, 2001, we contemplate the way. How tricky this dread and hate must be answered, only so that one day this makes sense indeed. A lot of uh, uncertainty right now as to what is happening. You can see there are choppers. I believe that could be a police helicopter that is coming. Oh! Wow. We just saw. Oh my goodness. You another, are looking at another live picture right now. Oh my goodness. Of what I believe was a plane that just hit another plane. This Tower does not two. look like an accident of any kind at this point. Another plane has hit Tower 2, the Twin Towers. Um, you hate to say the words, but what comes to mind right now, terrorist attack. That is what it looks like at this point. That them that deface the luminance of a shining apple 
wear a bold, disheveled face, and let the ripple of shame spread and slowly cast away their sight until their hate dissolves in decay under a cold blight.